Steph's Design Space. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. In this episode, we are going to play with these. So this is something I got on clearance. Um, it is envelopes and cards, but they're like blank cards. There are 120, 120 pack. So, there's 125 cards and 125 envelopes, not 25, where am I getting five from? Anyway, there's 240 total pieces. It's regularly $24.99 and I got it on clearance for $5.62. And I couldn't pass it up. Now, there's a lot of things that I can do with envelopes. There's a lot of things that I can do with... Um, cards but I was trying to think of something that I could do with both like putting them together and so I did come up with something so I'm going to take what I need out and then I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to show you oh so I put this together I didn't know what I was doing but I decided to put this together so this is the envelope and then that's the card so here we have a pocket and we have oops a pocket on the outside now I don't think I'm gonna do that on this one um, because I think there's something else I'd rather do Anyway, on the inside, I went ahead and just tore some scrapbook paper and made some corner pockets. And then here we can do whatever. But because they're envelopes, as long as I didn't glue it down. So there's a pocket there and a pocket here. So let's get to making. Okay? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is open these up. And on the crease, so we see that the crease is right here. I'm going to go ahead and ink it because it would be much easier for you all to see. I mean, it's not necessary for what I'm doing because nobody else is going to see it. But it is. I just want you all to see, like, the creases because it kind of matters uh, for this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, I am so sorry. Let me just ink these up. It has been, it has been a day. Uh, okay. So, now what I did is I glued these down. And that's what created the pocket, right? But if I don't want a pocket, oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, I don't know what the deal is. Usually that's my morning thing, not my afternoon thing. I don't really want a pocket because it messes with the flow, right? So to me, if there's a pocket here, it should be going this way and opening like this. I don't like that. I really want it to open like this, but this pocket throws me way off. So what I'm thinking about doing is tearing this part off or cutting it off oh now I'm gonna be all nasally and runny nosy sounding okay I'm just gonna tear this off now this can be used as a pocket on the inside so we're not gonna get rid of that <clears throat> And if, oh, but you know what? No, it's not going to be, dadgummit. That's why, because I want it to be able to uh, close. And I just took the little gusset away, right? So now it's not going to fold unless I create a gusset. So let's try that. You know what's so funny is I put this together and I said, 
let me put one completely together so I know what I am doing. And here I am creating all kinds of new things. Okay, let me just do it this way so I can see. All right. Now, how big do I need the gusset? So if I do it right here... I'm afraid that's not going to be enough, so I'm going to go up one. Let me get my itty bitty little thing. This is from a nail decorating kit or whatever, where you can put like jewels on your nails. I do not use this for that at all. But I prefer this over the this thing, because this thing... Even if you go really soft, I swear it just tends to cut it. Um, so, I prefer. I prefer not to do that. Now, where is my... All my bone folders are on the other side. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Alrighty. So if I do it like this, and then I just glue it right there, nope, I have to glue it on the inside. Okay, now, hmm, it's still going to have... A little thing on the outside like that for it to open up now what I should have just done is just trimmed this way down right so I still have the gusset so I still have the integrity and I just need to cut it so it's not as much and I would say leave it, but it just really does throw me off. Because here's the thing. I have a specific thing I want to put on the front, and I don't want the I don't want this there at all. <sighs> but if I have a small piece, I'm okay with that. Um I am going to cut it. Well, so much for me knowing what I'm doing. That was just a joke and a half anyway, right? Right. All right, so let me just trim that. And I'm going to do it on this side because to me this is the front. So if I glue that there, it folds in. And then I just have this. That I can cover up easy with like a piece of lace or a ribbon. So that is what we're going to do. Okay, this can be used for anything else at some point. Let me get another envelope. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Like so. Okay, alright. Now, I believe... We are ready to go. So I'm going to glue that just right there. But not too close because I want it to be able to fold. But I also have to make sure that this doesn't go all the way to the edge. Because then this won't fold, right? Okay. Um, pencil. I'm just going to kind of mark it. where it needs to be glued. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one. Art glitter glue to the rescue. Just going to line it up with my little pencil marks. Okay. Now 
I think it's a wee bit high. And it's just a tad bit on the high side. So, let me go down a little bit. All right. And the reason I said that is when this folds in. Okay. Um, all right, now. Because this has to, like, not touch. So it folds perfectly well like that. So there has to be a little bit of a gap. glue this oh look at that big old gap okay well good thing I am not up here trying to be perfect just saying all right now Okay, that is going to bother me. I don't know why I'm acting like that is okay when it is clearly not. Of course, it would help if I would have, like, marked it. My hat's off to the people who can eyeball stuff. That is not my life. Okay, I'm okay with that. Because I know it's going to shut properly. And I am going to put some scrapbook paper on the inside anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to disturb my poor kitty. Sorry, baby girl. You're just in mommy's way. Okay, let me move your basket. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now. Now, I do want this to have some kind of journaling space. Um... So I don't want to use, well, I don't know what I want to use. And that's not long enough. I was digging in my scraps. What I used earlier, uh, aha, was this. It's kind of plain, but it still adds some color. Um... And I kind of tucked it in. Maybe just like a hair too long. Nope, it is perfect. So I tucked it in both of the envelopes. Now I'm doing this so come on. Really? Okay. Go under. I need you to slide. Why is this being so difficult? There. See? Was that hard? I think it's because it is like just a tad too wide. So I'm just going to take off a, a, a smidge. Just a smidge. Like, barely even noticeable smidge. And see if that makes a difference. It really is a cool idea and concept if I could get it to go off without a hitch. Okay, off without a hitch. There we go. Okay, now this is, this is where I need to, um, uh, let me get a ruler. 
Let me see if I still have one of those over here. All right, I'm going to kind of just do this backwards. Where does it fold? It folds right there. I'm just trying to do like a little fold and it folds right here and right here. Okay. Now I'm doing that. I'm sure there was an absolute better way to do this. Okay, now that I I have the folds and it will still be able to close like so. All right, now it's time to get it glued down. And honestly, <laughs> we're just gonna squirt glue up in there. No, I need to take it out. Because if I don't, I'm gonna regret it. All right. Okay, glue, I mean, stick it in. I probably should have used some glue that wasn't gonna stick in five seconds. Yep, that's not gonna work. Okay. Glue stick it is. At least I will have time to position it. It probably would help if I took it out. All right. I haven't decided if I like this uh-oh, yoo-hoo, whatever the kind of glue this is called. I haven't decided if I like it or not. I am probably doing this the absolute most complicated way known to man. All right, that is on the fold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have it on the fold. Okay. Folded. Good. Now we're gonna stick this down. Just do it section at a time. Just doing this because I don't want there to be any bubbles where it's raised up and then it won't stick properly in the rest of the places. Last but not least, this little section right here, which is going to be interesting because I need it to go under. <laughs> this really does not like going under things. Come on. Okay, let me just get this good and smushed. Wow. 60 minutes later. 
There we have it. Now I do need to trim off this white edge because that is going to drive me mad. And we don't need me to be any madder than I am already. Is that just the cardstock? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Now some of it I could probably just ink and I will, but that's that's a whole that is a whole lot of white. So I guess I didn't trim it exactly right. Okay, done and done. Oh my goodness. All right, now for the fun part. So this is the idea I had. And this is why I didn't want a big pocket on the front. So these right here are absolutely stunning. These are my Friday freebie. So this week, these are um, on the website. So if you just go to my website, you will see the first thing that pops up is the Friday freebie. If you are not already um, a registered for my newsletter. So if you have not signed up for my lose, oh my goodness, newsletter yet, you can do that and then download the freebie, which is all of these. This is all like pictures, journal cards, whatever you want them to be. And I thought, oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that to go on the front? So I don't know if I want that one or if I want this one. I love these little frames because I can just frame it out. Obviously, I will cut that. Okay, I really, really like this one. So I think I'm going to go with this one right here. These are going to be like journal cards that are going to go on the inside. Look at the birds. Ugh. Okay, if y'all know me, y'all know I'm just so into birds right now. It is ridiculous. Um, yeah, so we are going to do that. So what I am going to do, okay, first of all, is this a sticker? Because if it is, then that will make it easier. And I think that it is. Oh man, I found my other picker upper and I meant to bring it over here. Nope. Okay, I say it's a sticker. It may not be, but I swear it acts like it is. Does it act like it is, Stephanie? Or are you just like tearing it up? I don't understand why it would have this white if it's not a sticker. But apparently I am just making it up and this is not a sticker. Okay. Goodness. Well, now that I've wasted all of your time, let me glue that back down. Okay. I am going to make sure that that is perfect and it is. So I'm just going to put glue right around just the inside edge, right? Okay. All right, I'm just going to let that dry a bit. So that is going to go on the front. 
and cover that up I am going to use some lace and a handful now this is what I had in mind to go up the edge but it may be a bit much with this so this is going to be centered right let me go ahead and trim this off because that is throwing me off throwing anybody else off these little corners well I don't think I'm going to get near as much done on this as I thought okay so this is going to be in the center and I think this is just too too wide um so I don't know if just pink is going to work on the green I don't know I also pulled this but these flowers are so different yeah, I like that the best of all of them so far um, okay one thing I'm not lacking in praise goodness praise God is that um, lace and I really need to go to Hobby Lobby this week somewhere around this time of year Okay, that is massive overkill. Um, this time last year, I was in Hobby Lobby just random, and they had all the lace on clearance. And, um, yeah, I need to go back. I need to see if they're doing it now. I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have their lace on clearance. Okay, now I have this that may look just good going up the spine up the spine what the heck am I talking about like right there so I can do that maybe so that is a maybe this I think is now that I'm doing these I think this is just too white but I may be wrong and I can always like ink it up no and I think with the pearls this is just gonna be a bit much unless I add pearls to the frame I am not one of those people who have it all figured out so if you're on my channel and you're just wanting a quick this is how you do it and this is what we're doing kind of thing um, no I'm a slow crafter and I take y'all through the whole process of me trying out all these laces instead of me just having all the laces here. Okay, <laughs> there is one other thought that I had, and that would be, um, do I have enough right here? I don't think this is it. Maybe. And that is to cover this whole thing with lace. But that's not wide enough. Oh, someone please help me. Okay. Now if I did this across the whole thing and put it on top, that honestly may be what I do. Okay, I actually like that. So I am going to cut it and has nothing to do with lace. Um, welcome to my world. So I guess the only thing we're going to get done is the outside. <laughs> okay. We're just going to kind of overlap that a bit. Well, I made it, and the outside, and then I can decorate the inside on another video if you would like, so let me know in the comments if that's what you want, because this is about as far as we are going to get today, because I know that none of y'all want to hang out for 20 hours, and I don't have 20 hours to give. So, a little trick someone... I saw someone do 
is they heated up the end of this glue stick before they stuck it in and it helped stick to the other glue stick which made it go better yeah I don't know I saw it and I was like that's an interesting concept I'm just putting dabs where I can put dabs because we all know that I don't know what this is called one of my patrons calls it Swiss cheese lace um, sounds good to me I just need it to kind of stick down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so I'm just doing dabs on the big pieces. And if I need to go in and, you know, add a dab here or there, I can totally do that. Okay, so we have the Swiss cheese lace that is not what it is called but it sounds as good as anything else uh, I need to round this because I could see it um, ink let me go ahead and just ink up these edges that way we don't see any kind of white hanging through but I am going to use these journal cards in there for pockets and cards. I may even cut out a tag or two. But right now, I just want to get this on top and in the middle. Now what I am going to do, because I may do some tucking of items, flowers or birds or butterflies. So I am only going to add glue to the middle. Just enough to get it stuck down and that way I am leaving the sides and the top open if I want to um, you know do some tucking under see that's like I can I can tuck a uh, tuck if I want to because I would like to maybe tuck some flowers put a bird who knows what I'm gonna do but um, stay tuned. I think the next video will go ahead and finish decorating this. And now that I have it together, I can gather um, more items. Now that I have like what I want it to look like in my head and it's here, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going with. This is the look I'm going for. Then it's easier for me to say, okay, this lace will match. I can just use these items. So it will go a bit better. Um, Sometimes when I sit down here, what's in my mind doesn't always translate to the finished product. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends. And um, yeah, so until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye.